Welcome to the prayer channel. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome, almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing deliverer. We serve the living God. And today we are contemplating how much we need God. We're contemplating how much our God protects us and keeps us and strengthens us. We are basking in the glory of our God. We're reading Proverbs 18 and it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It reads, a man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. A fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. When the wicked comes, contempt comes also, and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles and they go down into the inmost body. He who is slothful in his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and like a high wall in his own esteem. Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? The heart of the prudent acquires knowledge and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. Casting lots causes contentions to cease and keeps the mighty apart. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city and contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth, from the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Lord, we are overcome by your presence today, Lord your presence that emanates from your words, Lord. It's almost like you're speaking directly to us, Lord, and you are. And so, Lord, it's wonderful to just accept and receive the goodness that you give us, Lord, and the things that you tell us, Lord, that give us assurance and security, Lord, that we have chosen the right thing as believers. We have chosen the right way, the right path. Lord, you said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. And Lord, we run to you today. Lord, we run to you every day. Lord, we thank you that in you is safety, in you is peace, in you is love, in you is tranquility in you is everything we need Lord and so Lord as we choose to run to you today Lord we thank you Lord that you're holding us in your arms you're holding us in your arms Lord and we can't ever be separated from you because you love us so much Lord we receive your love today we receive your goodness we receive your kindness we receive your life Lord, we thank you that you are correcting us and teaching us, Lord, to speak life, to speak words that edify, that build up. Lord, that don't tear down, but instead encourage others and encourage ourselves to be more than we are. Lord, you said death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Yes, Lord, we desire, Lord, to speak life. Lord, we desire to speak life. We desire to speak life, Lord, not death over our situations. Lord, today we speak life because you are a God that calls us to, Lord. You said we will eat the fruit of life. We will eat the fruit of life or we will eat the fruit of death. So, Lord, we choose life today, Lord. 
And we thank you that you are taming our tongue and you're helping it to line up with what you want said and how you want it said. Lord, would our spirits never be broken, Lord, by the words that others have spoken over us. Instead, Lord, would our spirits dance at the words that you give us here so clearly, Lord. The wonderful things that you give us here, the wonderful promises. Lord, like a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Yes, Lord, would we have our gifts make room for us, Lord, the gifts that you've already given us, Lord. Would we enhance them and use them, Lord, and not bury them, but instead benefit from them, Lord? And would we be brought before great men and women, Lord, who can give us even more opportunity? Lord, would you open up doors for us, doors of opportunity today? Lord, we thank you that you are good. We thank you that you give us good gifts. Lord, you said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Lord, you said that many things are good. Lord, you said that you're good. Lord, you said that working hard is good. Lord, you say family is good. You say friends are good. Lord, you say living right is good. And so Lord, we receive all the good things that you give us today. We take them in place and we take them to heart and we thank you that you are always close. Lord, you're a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Lord, how else can we live but to serve you and to sit next to you, Lord? You're a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And Lord, we thank you that you are sticking to us and we are sticking to you for every single day of our lives, Lord. We are sticking to you. Thank you, Lord, that we've run to you today and we're going to continue to run to you daily. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you.